Unit 6 Shelter Houses are the places which protect us against the natural forces of sun, rain and storm. It is a shield which covers us against the dangerous animals and people. Our house should be a place where we feel at home. In it, we find a lot of solace and comfort. In India, we find lots of houses which are of different kinds. All the houses are not of the same type. They may vary. Some of them are built with sloping roofs, with fireplaces and also flat roofs with thick walls. Whenever we build a house, may it be big or small, we have to remember few things and be very cautious. We should be watchful during the construction of roof, walls, floor, doors, windows and the drainage system. Roof The roof of the house should be capable of withstanding wind and rain. So, it should be very very strong. The roof's type mainly depends on the climate. If it rains heavily, houses with sloping roofs are constructed. In dry areas, they are built with flat roofs. These roofs are used for taking rest during hot summers. In places which are hot, the roofs are high up to keep the room cool. In places which are cool, the roofs are placed down making the room warm. Walls The walls of our houses should be made strong. In desert areas, walls are built thickly to protect themselves from the great heat. In cooler places like hill stations, walls are built thickly to protect from the cold wind. The walls of the modern houses are all plastered with cement. Floor The floors should be pakka and made of concrete stones or wood. The concrete floors should be well cemented. In case of wooden floors, they need to be well polished. We should see that the floors are strong and are easy to clean. There should not be any holes or gaps, otherwise rats, cockroaches and other insects may cause damage. The white ants destroy the woodwork. Doors and windows There should be free passage of air in a house. So, doors and windows should be placed in such a way that air will come in freely through them. They should also be built in such a way that enough light and sunshine pass into the rooms. If this should be there, a room should either face east, west, southwest or southeast and a gauge should be kept to the window so that the insects do not enter the house. The windows should also have grills as a safety measure. The doors and windows should have wire gauges to keep away flies. Drainage system All the drains which carry dirty water from the bathroom and kitchen should be covered. The outlets of these should have wire nets in order to prevent rats, mice, snakes and moles from entering into the house. 
the factors of place and climate, material and budget are to be taken into account when building a house. A. Place and Climate In the places which are hot, houses have thick walls and flat roofs. These thick walls keep the house cool. Some houses have flat roofs which can be used as terraces by the people for sleeping during summer. Some of the people live nearby rivers where floods are common. As a result of it, houses are built on posts. They are called as stilt houses. Some houses are on hills. They have sloping roofs. The floor does not allow the rainwater or snow to make it damp or cold. In cool areas, houses have fireplaces to keep them warm. In polar regions, there is snow on the ground throughout the year. Ice is used to build houses. People who live in polar regions are called as Eskimos. They build their houses with ice blocks which are called igloos. Igloos are used as temporary houses while going for hunting. B. Materials for building houses a house is built with bricks and stones. The houses at cooler places like hill stations are built of wood and bamboo. Such houses are easier to be made and quicker to build. In countries like Japan, wooden houses are built because of the earthquakes. They cause less damage if they collapse. Palm leaves, bamboo and mud are used to make kacha houses, which are called as huts. The building materials of these are very cheap and can be available very easily. These huts do not have any electricity, sanitation or clean running water. Snow is also used for building materials for the houses of Eskimos. The Eskimos use soft and cold substance which is like snow to build a house with strong walls to keep them warm. These igloos are very rare as the Eskimos build them as temporary houses when they go for hunting in search of food. The houses of Eskimos are also made of stone or mud. The most commonly used building materials now are concrete, glass, iron, thatch etc. C. Budget The type of the house built by a person mainly depends on the money as how much money can be spent for constructing a house. A person who can afford only little amount will build a small house with cheaper materials. A person who can afford large amount will build a very big and fashionable house with marble flooring and teak furniture. Whenever we build a house, we need to use materials which are easily available in that particular area. So, where there is clay and brick kilns are in plenty, 
we find houses made of bricks. In the places where grass and bamboo are found in plenty, we see a number of huts. Sometimes stones are used to build the walls of houses as they are available in plenty. They are found in Rajasthan. Some important things to be noted before, during and after the construction of house are as follows. Before building a house, the architect makes a plan of the house and he decides the size and layout. The house facing the southeast direction usually gets more sunlight. The number of people who live in the house adds to the size and also the amount a person can afford is also necessary. During the construction of the house, we should remember that the walls should be very strong. If there are damp floors and less plastered houses, insects breed here very well. Doors and windows should be opened in such a way that fresh air and light can enter every room. Wire netted should be done to avoid the flies and mosquitoes entering the house. It should have proper leveled and smooth flooring. It should also have good drainage system. We should seal off the drains and outlets. After construction, good care should be taken to the house to keep it clean and tidy as these houses are very expensive. Different materials should be required for different methods of care. Cement and concrete floors should be very well washed. In order to protect the wood, we should polish the wooden floors. They should also be varnished from time to time. The ceiling and the walls need to be washed in order to prevent the dampness getting into them. Whitewashing also damages the disease germs. Even the iron bars, griders, railing should also be painted in order to prevent them from getting rusted. All the frames of windows, doors, and the other woodwork should be polished and varnished to give necessary finish and protection to the wood. The wooden structured parts in the underground or inside the walls are covered with tar to prevent any damage caused by the white ants. Phenol should be used to clean and wash the bathrooms and drains to prevent the bad odor. Let's revise the important points. 1. Houses are of different kinds. 2. The types of the houses vary depending upon the climate. 3. During the construction of houses, we should be careful about construction of roofs, floor, doors, windows and drainage system. 4. If it rains heavily, houses with sloping roofs are constructed. 5. All the modern houses are plastered with cement. 6. The floors should be pakka. The wooden floor needs to be polished and varnished. 7. Doors and windows should be placed in such a way that air and light will come in freely through them. 8. All the drains which carry dirty water from the bathroom and kitchen should be covered. 9. The factors of place and climate, material and budget 
are to be taken into account when building a house. 10. Some houses have flat roofs which can be used as terraces for sleeping during summer. Do these. 1. Answer the following questions. Conceptual understanding. 1. When you construct a house, what should you do? Answer. Whenever we build a house, may it be big or small. We have to remember few things and be very cautious. We should be watchful during the construction of roof, walls, floor, doors, windows and the drainage system. 2. How should our walls be? Answer. The walls of our houses should be made strong. Walls are built thickly to protect from the heat and cold wind in desert areas and cooler places respectively. The walls of the modern houses are all plastered with cement. 3. Name the factors that influence the construction of a house. Answer. The factors of place and climate, material and budget influence the construction of a house. 4. What are igloos? How are they constructed? Answer. In polar regions, there is snow on the ground throughout the year. People live in polar regions, build their houses with ice blocks which are called igloos. These houses have strong walls to keep them warm. 5. What are the essential materials required for building houses? Answer. Concrete, glass, iron, thatch, etc. are the essential materials required for building houses. 6. What are the precautions to be taken before building a house? Answer. Before building a house, the architect makes a plan of the house and he decides the size and layout. The house facing the southeast direction usually gets more sunlight. The number of people who live in the house adds to the size and also the amount a person can afford is also necessary. 7. How should we keep our houses safe? Answer. Cement and concrete floors should be very well washed. The ceiling and the walls need to be washed in order to prevent the dampness getting into the ceiling. Whitewashing also damages the disease germs. Even the iron bars, readers, railing should also be painted in order to prevent them from getting rusted. All the frames of windows, doors and the other woodwork should be polished and varnished to give necessary finish and protection is given to the wood by it. 2. Fill in the blanks Conceptual Understanding Three, write T for true or F for false statements. Conceptual understanding. Four, do you know? Houses of Assom are made of wood and are built on raised platforms. The natives of North America are called as Red Indians. They live in big rods. The nomads of Arabia are called as Bedouins. And they live in tents made of cloth with goat's hair. 5. Project Work 
ask the students to collect the pictures of the different kinds of houses and stick them in their project book.